Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a video on the new and final Crisis on Infinite Earths trailer, so it's an extended trailer. We're going to be breaking it down today. Sorry that the video didn't go up yesterday, I was just too busy. So, yeah, Crisis is coming tomorrow night. I can't fucking wait. I am literally out of my socks excited so if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any dctv videos later this year okay so we're going to be breaking down the trailer going through all the shots there are some shots that are reused that i will probably not talk about but i'll talk about some of the reused shots in this trailer breakdown so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this so the first shot of the trailer i believe in the voice overlay it's bruce wayne and simultaneously we get a shot of the batman suit i think we had this in a past trailer and it's all sort of got cobwebs all over it and like i said in my past video it kind of looks like a mix between like the dark knight suit you know the various iterations in the dark knight batman begins dark knight rises more so like that a little bit of like batman vs superman but more so dark knight rises it looks really cool don't know if we're actually gonna see kevin conroy suit up in his full batman suit but that would be sick i would really love that okay so the next shot is really quite touching it really gets to you and barry is talking to iris on the wave rider and he says it's time for me to die He's really blunt about it, and in reply, in a later shot, Iris says, Baby, I don't want to say goodbye. And so, that moment is going to be one to look out for, because it really looks like Candace and Grant are acting their socks off in this scene. Because this is sort of what it's all been leading towards, right? Since The Flash started, it's always been, oh, the Crisis newspaper. That has been a thing that has been looming over the show for such a long time, since season one. So... You know, it's finally happening, and I just really can't wait for it. Okay, so we have a shot of White Canary. She says a few lines in the trailer. Nothing too important to actually go over. But then we get a reused shot. We got Black Lightning teaming up with The Flash. They're sort of agreeing, yeah, I'm going to help with you in this crisis because, you know, it's going to affect me somehow. And then we go to Batwoman, and they're in the Wave Rider. And so she's crying. She's breaking down in front of Kara. And what Kate says is... I wish I was hopeful like you. So obviously I feel like Kara is going to be quite optimistic but she's also going to be getting down on herself sort of as things progress because you know there is going to be a lot of casualties with this crisis that is coming. So I think at first she's going to be hopeful but then once she sees Argo being destroyed that's when she loses hope I believe. And so let's move on to the next shot. The next shot is both of them standing face to face like really really close and so this is just showing how intimate like their talk is gonna be okay all right so we go back to that shot where i talked about with iris and barry and iris is like barry i don't want to say goodbye then we see barry holding iris's hand around her wedding ring obviously this is sort of like a big symbol of what she has lost and you know what she's about to lose essentially so then we move on and what we see next is Superman and Supergirl in the DEO, so still on Earth 38, and they're talking, and this is sort of, I believe, after, I would hazard the guess, Argo has been destroyed. As in the scene, Kara is talking to Superman about, you know, the effect that she's had on people, and so she says, my mistakes outweigh all of the good I've ever done, so, you know, talking about the times where she has done something wrong, she's lied, you know, because that's a big thing on these shows, lying. But nevertheless, just anything that has been wrong, she's essentially trying to get at, like, when she was twisted into becoming, like, Dark Kara, you know, back in Season 1. You know, Red Kryptonite Kara, sorry, that's actually what we called her. And, you know, just mistakes along the way, I believe that she's looking back on her past, being like, this is not the perfect legacy that I want to leave. So in the scene, Clark is comforting Kara, it seems, and it seems like Superman's actually going to play a pretty damn big role in this crossover, which is kind of exciting to me. And so, you know, he's comforting her. Then we go to the next moment, and the next moment is, in fact, a massive moment, the death of... Of Superman so this is the picture this is what you can see this is on the news report so what happens is in the headline it says Lex Luthor kills Man of Steel disappears into thin air okay so we'll talk about the obvious thing in a minute the death of Superman but let's just look at some of the details on this news report so it says 
It's from KG MQ News. Never heard of that. So I'm guessing this is actually Superman on another Earth and Lois Lane on another Earth, as you can see on here. Also, our Superman doesn't wear that cape. I don't know where that cape's from unless it's like a different Superman who has died in the same place. But if it is our Superman, he doesn't wear that cape, right? Okay, also it says disappears into thin air, so does Lex Luthor just disappear into thin air out of nowhere? So, the headline is curious, right? So why would Lex Luthor kill the Man of Steel when he's trying to save the Earth and, you know, he has the monitor, you know, completely watching over him because I don't think the monitor trusts him and this doesn't seem like it's actually, like, our version of Superman. Number one, also, he's gonna get his own show, the Clark and Lois show, you know, they're calling it Superman and Lois Lane. So that's happening. So I think the big giveaway is the cape. That is obviously a reference to the death of Superman if you've read the comic. So I believe it's actually not our Superman, although it's a doppelganger of Tyler Hoechlin's version. All right, so let's move on and we'll go past that. So that was probably the biggest thing in this trailer. Then we get a really, really just slight reference to Felicity with Oliver in this shot whilst they're in this sort of rubble, maybe they're in the future, which is very curious. I don't know how he actually intends to actually find Felicity, but this is what he says. Find your mother, tell her how much I love her. And it seems like it's definitely in reference to Felicity because Mia is literally right behind her. So is he in the future or something? And he knows, or like the monitors told him where Felicity is. So that's really interesting. Maybe Emily Bet Ricards makes a small little cameo. We know she's in the series finale for Arrow. Okay, so then we move on, we get this shot exploding of an Earth. Kind of reminds me of like when Krypton exploded. That's what it sort of visually looks like. And then it sort of dissolves into Kara as she cries. And that's obviously her in reaction to seeing that Argo City has been destroyed. And we don't know if like Allura gets out, you know, her mother or obviously Superman and Lois get out. So maybe they save some people, I'm not sure. But then we move on and it's a shot just after that, and it's of Brainy, and Brainy says, and we're next. So the imminent destruction of Earth-38 is inbound. I don't know if they're gonna go through with it, but it seems pretty likely right now. And then we get a shot of an Earth being destroyed. Could be Earth-38, could be any Earth, I'm not sure, but this just looks really cool. Then we move on, we've got the red skies engulfing the DEO, so yeah, it seems like Earth 38's being targeted next. And so we've got some of our heroes here, we've got the Flash, we've got Harbinger, White Canary, and the Atom. Next we move on and we're back to that same sort of fight scene that's going on, we've got Oliver, Batwoman, and Mia, there's a lot of content with them all together, so it seems like, at least for an episode, they're gonna be pretty, you know, much sticking together like the whole way. Then we've got Jonah Hex. This is our first look at him in the crossover. He hasn't been around for a couple of seasons. So this is really amazing to see him. His jaw doesn't look that fucked up. So could it be a different version or is it just the angle? I'm not sure, but I'm super excited to see him because I really like Jonah Hex. Then we move on. We've got a different shot of Black Lightning. You know, nothing much to break down here. Then we've got Black Lightning firing off some lightning at the Flash. From Earth 90, but also it looks like Barry is trying to stop it, and then Killer Frost is there as well. So you see the cosmic treadmill as well next to him, and they cause an explosion. So they all go flying back. We've got Earth 90 flash by that door. Obviously, the sort of white explosion is from Barry's lightning colliding, I believe, with Black Lightning's lightning. So Black Lightning is going flying to the left of the room, and then Barry's going flying to the right of the room from their angle, not our angle. Okay, so then let's go on to the next shot. So we see what looks like the shadow demons and I think it's them. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but they kind of look like a mix between like Dementors and like bugs. I don't know, it kind of look like Ant-Man, which is kind of weird, like a flying Ant-Man. Okay, so then we move on. We've got this amazing look at our heroes. You got Superman, you got Supergirl, you got the Flash, the Atom, there is a load of destruction behind them. They're on this rooftop once again, as we've seen in many of the trailers. They're obviously preparing for the incoming army that is literally about to attack them. Same with Oliver, Mia, and Batwoman, again, together in the same shot. Okay, then we got, like, our second good look at the Anti-Monitor. Obviously, it's not, like, a face-on look. It's a shadow look. 
it is him, you can tell by the wiring of his suit. I kind of like how they've kept him pretty much under wraps in terms of the trailers. Obviously, if you follow the behind the scenes stuff, we all know what he's going to look like. But I admire how they've kept him out of a lot of these trailers to keep the mystery. Then we see Barry, he's getting flung over a room. Kind of looks like, you know, the flash symbols that we've seen in the past. Or it could be the symbols that we've seen on the monitor's place, you know, with Nash Wells last episode and, you know, the last few episodes since he found the place. So Barry's getting thrown over there. Maybe that's the NC monitor, I don't know. But then we got Batman, and obviously we don't know if he's going to be Batman, that being Kevin Conroy. He's definitely Bruce Wayne, though. We don't know if he's Kane's version of Bruce Wayne or not, or if he's just a doppelganger. We'll have to wait and see. And so he's going to probably be in the Batwoman episode. That's the episode that I would guess he would show up. And then we move on past that. We've got Batwoman using a Batarang. And then we go back to the place where Black Lightning is with all the different versions of The Flash and Killer Frost. So he seems to be like charging up the cosmic treadmill. And I believe this is where Earth-90 Flash dies. Or vanishes. Okay, so a repeated shot of Kingdom Come Superman played by Brandon Ralph. Then over the title where it says Sunday, we see the destruction of a city. I don't know where it is. It's probably like a random Earth out there in the multiverse. And then we got Earth 90 Flash, a new shot of him, which is really cool. The Anti Monitor talking to Harbinger. So they're obviously going to be a pretty big thing in this. But this really excites me because we got this. It says The League. What are they talking about? The Justice League. Look at all of those heroes up there. You can imagine them being called the Justice League. Obviously, you're missing the Flash and a lot of the main characters, but still, them just calling them the League is just, yeah. That's the next step towards the Justice League. Then we have Clark actually screaming, the multiverse needs you as he flies through the sky. So I'm guessing he's talking to Supergirl because I feel like she's a bit down after, you know, Argo's been destroyed, you know, the final bit of Krypton, which undoubtedly will get to her. Okay, so then we move on to this big fight that we keep on seeing in some of the past trailers. And once again, I have to note how weird it kind of looks. Because what the CW always does is, basically, they chuck a load of rubble on the ground in the fight scenes. But it's rubble that has come out of nowhere. And maybe it's just in the trailers, but all this rubble is literally just like excess, like nothing is broke around. Like if you look at all the buildings, if you look at the floor and everything, there is no reason for rubble unless it's like a CGI building crumbling down or like they just haven't done that final bit of CGI for the walls broken. But yeah, it's always a nitpick of mine seeing that they always just chuck a bunch of rubble on the ground and never actually destroy anything. Unless it's like a massive CGI thing that's being destroyed. Okay, so we go to this next shot. We've got Superman, Supergirl, The Flash. They're all fighting the Shadow Demons. They very much so do not look like Ant-Man in this shot. So it's more like, you know, a Dementor from Harry Potter. They look pretty cool though. And so it seems like maybe this is in front of a stadium or it could be Star Labs, kind of hard to tell. And so yeah, that's about it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe as we try to reach 100,000 subscribers. It would be amazing if we could reach it before the end of the year. We've only got like, ooh, how many days is the 7th now? We've only got to the 31st to try and get to 100k. We are 400 subs away. YouTube took away 200 subs recently because they have done that to a lot of channels which was just kind of annoying because we're getting so close to 100k but still we are just about not hitting it so we really need your support well I need your support in sharing the channel around to people who aren't subscribed so thank you guys for watching I'll catch you guys later goodbye I see